welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm starting late in the day. I've been lazy all morning. But, however, I am gonna get started with some laundry. I did a clean out, sort of, kinda, of our closet. But, it's a lot better now. It's not exactly where I would like it to be. I'm using the resources that I had, but it's really good. I'll maybe give y'all a little sneak peek of that. I didn't film it, sad didn't film it but yes I don't know what I'm saying yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with some laundry um, and then I already have the dishes mostly done I just need to wrap that up a little bit I need to make some cookies for my husband's um, crew over at his job um, it's radiology week and he works at a hospital in the radiology department so he and his his uh, team oh my god there's a little nap okay. so him and his team they deserve it you know they're short staffed right now and i really appreciate all that they do i want to thank everybody out there that is involved with the radiology field all the way from doctors to radiology techs everywhere in between mri ct uh, nuke med everybody out there specials um happy radiology week y'all deserve it y'all are a little bit in the background and not a lot of people know about y'all but I appreciate you. I used to be in the radiology field myself, not an actual person that could really do anything, but I used to be a scheduler. So um, I was able to help patients in some form to get scheduled at a hospital. Let's get started. Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Madeline. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I saw that we got a lot of new subscribers, so welcome if you are new. Um, so today I am going to be doing a lot of cleaning motivation here on my channel. There was a lot of laundry, again, that needed to be done. Uh, since I cleaned out the bottom of my closet, I found a lot of my clothes that were just kind of stashed away in a corner. So now that solves the mystery of where all my clothes went. So here I am, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these to wash. Um, what I use is the OxyClean at the bottom along with those downy, um, like unstoppable things um, at the bottom as well. And then I just use Gain a de a detergent, almost a dish detergent, a Gain detergent and then a little bit of softener. Now I don't use softener or the scent beads every single time I wash. Um, it's just if I want a little extra boost, that's what I do. Um, and I also don't use the lids to the like detergents and the softeners and stuff. I just kind of started calculating by seconds of how long it should be based on the pour um, of the of the cap. So that's kind of what I do on my end. But yeah, just gonna get started with that laundry and then we're gonna move on to refilling slash restocking. Um, some products that were running low in my kitchen so this is just my salt container that i use for cooking um i use kosher salt sometimes but um most times i'll use this regular sea salt um and i do put rice in there because uh, rice is it helps with the moisture content in your salt so it doesn't clump up as much and then here I am just trying to dispense my sugar. I like to pour the bottom half, like the remainder, in a jar or a container and then pour the fresh sugar down first at the bottom. And then I'll top it back off with the uh, sugar that I had just set aside that was on the bottom originally. Um, I like to keep the oldest on top and then kind of work down. That's kind of what I do. I'm just going to top off my jasmine rice into my container. Um, I really love jasmine rice. I grew up on regular long grain uh, plain white rice, but I went and visited my cousin and he was 
obsessed with this jasmine rice and i had never heard about it and i had never tasted it and he made it with like a dish that he made and it was so good and i have never turned back from there and i love jasmine rice so much i think it has such a great taste and a great flavor and it complements a lot of dishes um so if you haven't tried it i highly recommend uh to try that um but I still, I still like brown rice and regular white rice and all that in between. But definitely check out jasmine rice if you have not done so already. And here what I'm doing is I am just going to be fixing up a little bit of my bins in my pantry. Um, so my seasoning section always gets a little rowdy. Um, so here I am. I'm just kind of... Um, take out everything, wipe down the basket, and then kind of repile it back in. So I have my spices separated by baking, big bulk uh, spices, and then my little spices. Um, and then I have my packet spices as well. And those will go with the, with the big bulk spices. So fun fact, my current pantry didn't always used to be a pantry. It was actually our linen closet, but I did not see the use of it being a linen closet. I decided one day I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna change this into a pantry. It has more shallow shelves. I'm able to see everything clearer. And that's exactly what I did. So I basically switched out the stuff that was in there, which was cleaning products and my appliances. And I moved that over to the pantry and it is so, much easier to see things now i'm able to see what products i have stuff i need to restock on um just front and center the fact that it's shallow shelves makes it so much easier to see everything and i love it so much and it's not even like it's far away from our kitchen it's pretty close <laughs> it's like literally right there next to our dining table um but yes i love this idea that i came up with and sometimes you just need to like play around with your stuff and see where it can fit best and where it's more functional for you um but yeah here i am i'm just going to clean out the bottom area of the pantry here things get a little crazy um we get snacks snack bins go into the regular oil bin and chips are on the floor and I mean sometimes I don't even I don't know how this happens but it does so here I am just gonna go ahead and take out everything from the bottom and then clean everything up and reassemble everything back together get rid of expired products etc so um yeah do y'all keep a lot of snacks in the house um if you do what kind of snacks do you like leave a comment down below I'd like to know I know I've said this many times before, but I am absolutely obsessed with our vacuum. This is the Shark Lift Away vacuum. It's targeted, especially if you are uh, people that have pets or long hair. Um, I love this so much. I know it's a corded vacuum, which, you know, we were all on, I think, the cordless vacuum era for a while, but I love this. I think it's perfect. It's lightweight and it is really gathers everything up and i love that it's corded because you do not lose power ever during your entire cycle um so yeah if you are looking for a good vacuum and something that is powerful will get everything up off your floors i will leave a link down below in the description so you could check it out um you never know they may be having a um the black friday sale going on right now um i'll double check on that for y'all but um definitely check out the link below if you're looking for a really really good um vacuum cleaner
Next, I'm just cleaning up my coffee area. I did decide that I wanted to do something a little bit different in this area, um, just because I didn't want to get steamed milk on my tray anymore. Um, it's, it's not that it's hard to wipe down, it's just I don't want to ruin the wood in the tray with uh, liquid. So, um, and also I really needed to deep clean this area because I dropped a whole bunch of coffee grounds. Um, I was trying to follow certain instructions off of a YouTube video and then I got distracted and I dropped my coffee grounds and I was like so annoyed with myself that I did that, but you know, things happen. So here I am, I'm just going to dust off the area with my hand, uh, throw the coffee grounds away and then using my uh, Mrs. Meyers uh, cleaning product in my Grove Collaborative spray bottle. I'm just gonna wipe everything down, including the backsplash. Um, so my husband and I, we're actually thinking about redoing the backsplash in our kitchen just cause it's the same tile as the floor and it just doesn't look that nice. <laughs> so I really want to do something with it. I just haven't decided and also um, once we do decide to do that, we need to save up money for it, of course, um, because, you know, home home renovations are expensive and like just in general. So and even more so now with the economy. So um, but yeah, now I'm just going to put everything back together. Um, this mat that's underneath the espresso machine is actually just a placemat, an old placemat that I had. And I really like it for that because I spot clean them outside uh, every so often and it just felt more uh, comfortable doing my coffees this way. And I will say that I, I do prefer this mat under there because I'm able to like swivel the coffee machine around whenever I'm going to do the uh, steamed milk portion. So it's really cool. I don't know if anyone else has a whole bunch of uh, cast iron pans, but apparently I do. I have such an accumulation of them. It's sort of funny. Um, I don't know how I got so many cast iron pans. I think I accumulated some for my mom and then I, my husband, Rudy, he had one whenever he lived at uh, his apartment before we got married. So it's just, um, yeah, I just have so many of them and we actually all, we also have one in our garage that we use for whenever we go camping. So, you know, if anybody is in need of a cast iron skillet, just come over to our house. We have plenty of them to share. <laughs> So here I am, I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the dishwasher to get those dishes started. Um, if you notice, I am wearing my apron. I do like to wear an apron now whenever I do dishes just to prevent any chemical burns on my jeans. Um, I just started this method not too long ago, um, so I, I wouldn't say that I have a full um, large amount of data on that right now to say if it's a good method or not. Um, I will say I don't think I've noticed any more uh, damage to my jeans than before, um, but yes, um, I am a pretty tall woman. I am 6'1", so a lot of my jeans and stuff get ruined because it rubs up right against my uh, stomach area um, instead of like on my shirts or anything like that. So it is a little bit more difficult being tall and trying to keep my clothes um, in good shape. Now I'm just scrubbing off the top of my island with a little bit of the Mrs. Meyer spray and a coconut scrubber from Grove Collaborative. And I just like to wipe, give that a good scrub down before I wipe it down with my um, microfiber cloth. And then I rinse off the cloth here and then I'll spray it down with the Steel For Real by Method just to kind of condition the top and get it all nice and shiny with no streaks. And I'm using that same cloth. I just fold it over and just making that look really shiny before I put everything back together.
The following night, I decided that I wanted to clean off my entire cabinets. Um, I had not noticed for a long time that they got a bit dusty. So I definitely needed to clean these. So I just got a little bit of warm soapy water and I'm using the method wood for good, I believe it's called, um, just to clean up and shine up my cabinets. I, I'm so glad I did it. I feel like it's super hard to see uh, dust, dirt, and grime on darker cabinets just because it is dark and a lot of you know dust and dirt and everything is on the darker end or you know it doesn't it doesn't look like it's that bad on your cabinet but when i say my water was dirty it was dirty um i am so glad i cleaned these off and i really need to like set a reminder on my phone or something to to clean these at least once a month because i could not believe how much dirt and dust was on these and grease stains oh my gosh there are so many but definitely if you haven't done so already and you have dark cabinets check those babies out because they're probably <laughs> they're probably dirty um yeah so i just go over with a dry cloth afterwards uh just because i don't want lingering water on there and i don't want streaks so of course i want to get those streaks out so I use a wet cloth and then I go over with a dry cloth afterwards to make sure everything is nice and shiny and there's no streaks. often do y'all like to clean your cabinets? I feel like I don't do them as often as I probably should. Um, I typically, to be honest, I think I probably clean them like once every three to four months. Um, if I do see like stains or like splatters and stuff, I'll clean that up. Like if it's like pancake batter or whatever, um, I'll clean that up usually like right away. But the whole thing like I'm doing right now, I usually don't do that for like three to four months. But I think like other people that I've seen here on YouTube, they kind of seem like they do it like once a month or so. So let me know, um, how often do you clean your cabinets down below in the description box? I definitely would like to know that. When I was younger, I wasn't really taught how to clean properly um, other than to clean off countertops and make sure you clean your floors. But I didn't really know or learn how to clean properly until I was around 21 years old. My mom, she got really sick and uh, came down with leukemia and um, she was at the hospital and I needed to bring her home to a clean environment. And I had no idea where to even start. Everything was overwhelmingly dirty and I was just, I did, I had no clue what to do. And then I found this community on YouTube and I am so grateful for being able to learn how to clean through others. Um, I, like I said, I didn't grow up learning how to clean properly and I saw many people here on YouTube teaching me how to clean, how often to clean things, um, the best tools to use um, when cleaning and I, I, I love it so much and I love this community and how it's taught me a lot of stuff and my mom was able to come home to a, a decent clean environment. It wasn't super clean at that point, but I was still learning and I'm still learning today. I mean, 
I'm 27 now, so I've only been in this game for a few years and I love learning and loving to continue to grow with this community. If you are new to cleaning, welcome because I am so glad that you're here and I hope that you find motivation in watching me clean and others clean here on YouTube and just know that you're not alone. Um, we've all started out somewhere and I'm definitely still learning and trying out different things, new methods, learning about when I'm supposed to be cleaning stuff, how often I should be cleaning things. So just know like we all are still learning. We're all still trying to figure it out. I think that's anything with life. So um, congratulations on starting your cleaning journey and I look forward to seeing you back here. Does anybody else's coffee table get messy all the time or is it just us because <laughs> I don't know what happens but every single time I clean this thing I feel like it just gets messier every day every single day but um, yeah I just I don't know what happens and then here I am I'm just gonna line up our shoes here and pick up my dirty socks and everything and then um, there's a little spot on the floor there that's um, our cat's a uh, little sick, you know, so I just cleaned that up really quick and um, got started with the guest bathroom. Uh, this is where I get ready in the mornings just because my husband, he sleeps in pretty late because he works at night. So I like to get ready in our guest bathroom just because um, it's away from our bedroom and we're, he won't be able to hear me like using a blow dryer or fixing my hair or listening to my music or anything like that. So I wanted to, um, I want to make sure that he's getting enough ample sleep uh, before he starts his day. Here I'm just using the Mrs. Myers uh, tub and tile cleaner in the lavender scent. Um, I will say it does do a pretty good job. I think it's like kind of like a basic job, you know what I mean? Um, ultimately, I will usually use uh, the Clorox tub and tile cleaner just because I do like how well it really deep cleans and gets like all the hard water stains and mold and mildew or whatever that's built up and it really cleans that out. Um, however, it is very strong. So if you do use the Clorox tub and tile, I recommend using a mask and also using the air vent in your uh, bath bathroom if you have one uh, just because it is so strong and it's so um, it just really burns your nose so but it is a very good cleaner but on the other times when it's just like an in-between clean I do like to use the Mrs. Myers because it is softer and it does not uh, burn your nostrils and it's very nice scent and it's very clean <laughs> If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you along on this journey with me and we can chat in the comments about all of our cleaning and light daily life updates and everything. Um, 
but yeah thank you so much i do hope y'all have a great week and um i'll catch y'all on the next video bye y'all